<clears throat> so when I do come back on YouTube, I don't know for sure when, but um, there is two people that I mentioned that ruined my life. Not, I don't want to give them that power. Not my life, but like a lot of aspects of my life. And um, I don't want you to be confused about who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say no names though. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just jump right into it. I know it's gonna be like, why are you still thinking about this? I don't really think about it. It's just, it kind of affects a lot. So here we go. Um, and I don't want this video coming back to me talking about, oh, like this girl's still talking about this, 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 this. No. So here we go. This was in junior high junior high and we were like close with these like these guys i'm saying we i can't even say we it sucks but anyway so there was this one guy and it was it was his birthday around this time and that's not making this video yeah <laughs> um this was a while back yeah and he was having this birthday party he invited his church friends and his school friends and a whole random people and honestly i was like contemplating to go but i was like you know what it's just a birthday party whatever let's just go like so we went and there was just it was like probably the worst thing i ever went to i probably i regret going because it was literally we didn't do anything we didn't even celebrate the guy's birthday um it was whack like very much whack i was like i cannot believe this um um we didn't do anything so he has these girls there right his church friends and you know i don't i'm not really type to like just automatically be like okay this girl is a hater i don't do that like i just thought since nobody wants to say hi or anything like that it's just how it is like i can't force people to be friendly to open up blah, blah, blah. so i let it go let it be how it is so um, all of a sudden, I think it was like my third week into Snapchat. No, it can't be. No. Maybe like a year into Snapchat. I don't know. It was just Snapchat was really like new to me. So all of a sudden, these people are adding me. And all of a sudden, I have the girls that were at the party. I got everybody on my Snap all of a sudden. So this was a time when I remember, was I, was I in Toronto? Ye or was I I don't really remember but it was around that time and I went to go visit and there was it wasn't Axe FM that was um, popular it was a thing called Saraha that was popular and oh my god it just this and that's when I knew like I can't mess with people like I really cannot be with people because I'm getting all these like comments that no one has ever come up to me to tell me in my face you know like you're ugly i'll get that but like who cares who really cares that's just everyone thinks someone's ugly but then you get comments that are like not even comments this one comment i don't know if this person was studying me i don't know if they like knew me for somewhere she went in on me like in when i tell you in like disrespectfully in like she told me my titties hang to the ground i'm a shrek i'm ugly i think i'm all this and that i'm not my makeup looks hideous whenever i put it on i shouldn't be doing this you think you're all this like she sent me multiple messages about everything i did that was wrong like she was basically saying like i shouldn't exist and it hurt me like i'm gonna be honest it hurt me because you got my friends who ain't really they saying they saying something but they're not really like going into like oh my god like this girl said something we need to go talk about it no they're just like oh my god i can't believe she said that like you know and then i felt like no one was really like on my side like i just kind of like let it go but like i did cry about it because i was like why would someone say that to me like i never had any Wow, this area is so ghetto. Every day, oh my god. Um, 
yes i'm not i'm not gonna even edit this video i don't care so i felt like no one was on my side to be like oh my god i can't believe she did this let's talk to her about it so you know just my petty act not even being petty like i just wanted to let people know this is the pipe these are the type of people i have in my life because i be telling people stuff and they don't believe me like i have people who literally hate me where i don't know what i did i really don't know so mind you i didn't do anything to this girl i didn't i don't know her from the get-go i never met her none of that she just went off on me like she knew me like she was the closest person in my life and i just known her for like a good two maybe week or i don't know so i posted her on my snap i was like this is the girl who's talking shit this is the girl who said all this because she i post i was like who said this like you guys would never say this in my face if it weren't for the app you would never ever say this to my face and that's what it's like weird because I don't understand like if I if I had if I had that much hatred for someone I would let them know face to face how much I do not like you I would do that I really would but I don't live that type of life I don't live that type of hating on people for no freaking reason so she um she replied to my story saying oh I said this to you I'm not pussy I'm not scared of you this and that but why did you choose an app to talk to me why didn't you why couldn't you say that in front of my face if you're not so scared can can someone make that make sense so everybody all my friends from toronto um girls are like replying to my story like oh she ugly as hell like don't even mind her like do you see her you see her like you know everybody's always comparing each other i hate that i really do i'm like i'm not here to compare me and her like i already know what i'm at and she already know where she's at i'm just here to talk about what she said because no one wants to address that. So, you know, you got her other friend coming at me like, I did something wrong. And I'm like, you are not... Her friend was trying to defend her for what she said. I'm like, do you not see what she said to me and I did nothing to your friend? Do you not see she's a problem? So now I'm like, okay. I let it go. I let it go. But y'all, like, I... When I told y'all, when I tell you... I lost confidence, like, everything. Like, it stayed with me. Like, like if I'm able to tell you this story and it happened a long time ago, that's when you know that shit hurt me. It doesn't hurt me. It's, it doesn't hurt me. Like, I don't even know how to feel about it because there was days I'll wake up, like, maybe she's right. Maybe that's how I actually am. This is how I, you know, maybe I need to pipe down. Maybe this is not how I actually should be doing my shit. Maybe I shouldn't do anything. I didn't even want to do videos anymore. Now, this is not now. This is <laughs> me not making videos right now has nothing to do with her. That was like a while back. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't be myself anymore. Like, oh my gosh. Now, that's not what is the worst part. So... <sighs> As, you know, high school was coming, me meeting new girls from the city, you know, like, already there's an animosity. Already there's a, oh my God, who is this girl? Who she thinks she is? You know, it's like, I don't even know you. Can you at least get to know me? So, I'm like, wait, do you know this girl? I'm like, oh, like, I, I always ask them before I meet someone, do you know this girl? Because y'all talk. Big mouse. Do you know this girl? She's like, yeah, I know this girl. I'm like, I can't be your friend, to be honest. Because she already told you an opinion about me that when you see me, you can't really be my friends. Because everywhere I go, guys, like, like maybe it was a birthday party. Not even a birthday party. A dinner party. Or it was at school. Or what it was. Like, me, me, me at just at the mall or something. I don't even like going to that fucked up mall whoops sorry i don't like these malls here but anyways um anytime i would come around them already is like oh my god she's coming oh my god who is she like all this stuff and it's like why are you guys doing that like is there a reason why you guys are acting like that and it's like it's because this girl who said the stuff about me already told them the story every everybody had the story laid out about how I'm the one who shitted on her. No one tell no one. I don't think I don't think anyone knows what she has said to me. But everybody knows what she what I said to her on Snapchat. 
let me say something. One, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not gonna say it again. When you start something, I finish it. I'm ne you will never catch me starting something. But they didn't use that narrative. They used the narrative that I caused it and I'm the one who did it on her and all of that. And it makes me look so bad. And it's to the point where I can't, when I, sometimes I clean myself, but then it's like, it's not even worth explaining myself because they're gonna already twist up the story. I tried to explain myself and they're like, oh my God, really? I never knew, I didn't know. She said this and then she said this and she, and I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna play this game anymore. If you guys don't know the real story, don't don't bring that mm, this girl just because you don't know me. You don't know me, keep it at you don't know me. Keep it at that. When you do know me and you know everything, you know the facts, you know the truth, everything, that's when you have you can have your opinion. You can't just run with a one-sided story, okay? That doesn't show my side that caused all of this for me to be a bitch towards her now i'm gonna leave it at that um but that's why i just stopped like being friends with anyone because this city's so small one and two everybody just talks so as soon as you meet someone already somebody already knows something about you and i don't have time for that i don't have the time to oh let me clean up myself for this person so she she can be my friend i don't give a fuck see i don't like this like this I, I try not to be that type of person to be rude and anything like that. I try to be cordial and be to myself. But it's like being nice is not worth it anymore. You have to say what you got to say. And five years later, this thing is still happening. Nothing has changed. So it's like, I'm just want to say my part because when I do come back, there's going to be videos where... I'm gonna be talking about it deeply and it's gonna be she's gonna be brought up i'm not gonna say her name but she will be brought up not all the time but it's gonna like i just want there's just something i want y'all to get from it and that's why i'm taking my time um what else i want to say yeah that's all i want to say <laughs> That's why I'll never, like, tolerate bullying or anyone seeing bad about anybody. Like, I will not stand for that. I would, I don't care if it's... If you guys, I would respect her so much more if she came to my face and said it. But it just shows, like, you can't trust no one. You can't really talk to anyone because, like... But I don't even know her. So I don't know why it hurts me so much. Like, I don't know. And I think it's because... I'm not going to go deeper with it. I'm going to go deeper. I don't want to go deeper right now for it at all. I really don't. But, um... I just... You know, I'm not going to explain myself. But I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs>